Hi guys, I have a full body pull workout for you today, which means we're focusing on that posterior chain today. We're gonna hit your back with those biceps and then we're also gonna hit glutes and hammies today. I'm going to be using a bench for a number of the exercises today, but if you don't have access to a bench, don't stress. You can easily do them on the floor. If you wanna grab a chair, you can sub a chair in for some of those exercises. Uh, as far as weights, we're thinking heavy and medium. Heavy um, deadlift, row weight, medium bicep weight. Also grab your loop band. We're gonna use that in the, in the beginning to warm up. Now, as far as the workout style, you know I like to change things up. So I've got two different sections of this workout. We're gonna start with Tabata timing. And if you only have 30 minutes, that's all you'll do. Just stop at the end of the Tabata timing. You'll get a good workout in and you can just skip out after that. But if you have time after the Tabata section, we're going to hit an EMA, which means that every minute on the minute, and we're going to do that as a pyramid. I really like that set, so I hope you can join me for that. And then as always, we finish with stretching if you have time. So gather up your stuff. We're gonna start with a little warm up and hit those bands. Alrighty, this cardio set is just going to warm us up. So we are going to start with some air squats. Just 20 seconds, decent pace on it, but you don't have to kill yourself. Ready? Three, two, one. So Exercise one. we're just air squatting. Decent pace, but we're just getting these legs warmed up. Good job. We're gonna do it two times. Repeat each Three, set. Two, one. Right? Yes. All right, we're gonna repeat that set again. We're just getting our legs warmed up, getting ourselves ready to work. Three, two, one. And again, Exercise remember one. booty goes back first. Just trying to get a nice tempo going, get that heart rate to start to elevate, get ourselves ready to go. Almost there. Three, two, one. Great job. Yes. We're gonna do some toy soldiers, straight arms, straight legs, stretching out those legs. A little bit of a dynamic workout, or work, yeah, a little bit of a dynamic stretch while we start warming up. Get those arms ready. Great job. Try to keep those legs straight and those arms straight. Full range of motion. I know you're probably faster than I am. Got really long arms and legs. Break. We're gonna do that one again. Just get yourself kind of starting Three, to think about, two, okay, picking one. up the pace slowly. Exercise one. A little faster this one. I'm gonna jump into this workout, ready to go. We're not gonna do a lot of cardio during this workout. So we wanna get that heart rate up right here. Three, two, one. Now we get those touchdowns. Feet are together. I'm hopping out, touching down. When I touch down, booty down. Not hinge with the hips, back two, together. One. So Exercise down, one. together, down, together. Try to touch the ground, but bending those knees, not hinging at the hip, bending forward. Can you see yourself? Can't see yourself, you're hinging over. Three. Warming those legs up. So what I mean by that is, if I'm doing the touchdown, I can still see myself, right? If I'm hinging over, not Three, bending my legs, two, I one. see the ground. Exercise one. Make sure you're watching me. That'll let you know your chest is up. Bend those legs. Great job. We're gonna finish with two sets of high knees. If, two, yes. if high knees feel like they're too much, feel free to go to those march and reach. But try to make sure when you're doing high knees, Three, they're not down here, two, they're here. And it's nice. Nice one. This is our last two. So we're gonna finish kind of strong here. We're gonna grab those bands and warm those glutes up a little bit. Last 20 seconds here. Add your arms and we'll hit some climbing ladders. Three, Hopefully your heart rate's two, coming up. One. And start. Exercise one. Get those arms. 
going with those knees. Great job. Awesome. Almost there. Woo! All right, let's do real quick a walkout. So let's just walk out to the plank. Bring that right leg up, that left leg up, and walk back. Bend your knees if you need to on those. Do that one more. Out to a plank, right leg up, and left leg up. Come back, and clap. All right, grab your band. We are gonna do some band walks. We're gonna put that band right underneath your knees. Make sure it's not pushing up into your knees. We're gonna get nice and low, take a big step, then very small steps after that, okay? Get ready. Three, two, one. So big step out, then low. Or a little, not low, stay low. You can go back the other way now. Great job. Three, two, one, rest. All right, stand up. Let that, that come down near your ankles. We're going to hinge forward, pull that band Three, back, and do some rear two, raisers. One. So hinge forward slightly. Pull that band back. Now, keep the band pulled back the entire 20 seconds. We're warming that hamstring up right here. That booty up right here. Try to keep the band back. I'm not letting it come the whole way in, remember? Right? Get a little breath here. Switch sides. Remember, keep the band out. That entire 20 seconds, try Three, at least. Two, Hinge one. forward. Hold on if you need to. Get the band out. And pulse. Awesome job. Working that. Glute and hammy right here. Three, two, one. Break? Okay, Rest. we're gonna keep this right at our ankles. We're doing a penguin walk side to side. Getting Three, the side abductors two, warmed up right here. One. Exercise one. Side to side. Great job. Keep those legs straight. Flex those speed as you take them out. Try to be speedy Three, in the middle. Two, one. Okay, yes. put those bands in front of the shoelaces. My bands are all the way down to my toes. Now they're gonna come off. I have to turn those toes out to keep that band on. I want my feet like this. I'm gonna take a big step out, but again, I have to have those feet out like that. Get ready. Three, two, one. One. Exercise We're just walking one. side to side, keeping tension in that band. If you don't feel it, move that band out a hair more towards your toes. Great job. You should be feeling it in those abductors. Awesome job. Break. All right. Now, grab your mat. We're going to finish up getting those those glutes one more time. You know this is one of our favorites. So, put that band right above your knees. Grab a hold of those heels. We're going to do a, a glute bridge. Push your, your elbows and your shoulders down into the ground. Get a nice kickstand. We're going to lift that booty up. Nice and high, but not so high you feel it in your back. Get there with me now. And when I count us down, we're going to start pulsing those legs out. Three, two, three. One, pulse those legs one. out. Now as I pull the legs out, what happens? My hips want to come down. Keep those hips up, pulsing the knees out. My band's rolling, so hopefully yours is not. When she counts us down, Three, we're gonna stay two, up. One, up, rest. pull those knees out a little bit more, hips up a little bit more. Now when she counts us down again, we're keeping the knees Three, out, we're pulsing two, the hips up and down. One. Knees Exercise out, one. pulse the hips up and down. It's a small pulse, 
Your knees want to come in every time. Don't let those knees come in. Keep the knees out. Keep pulsing. You should feel a really intense burn in that booty. That's good stuff. We're getting that booty ready to work. Break. Great job. Awesome job. Okay. We're done with our warm up. So if you have a bench, grab your bench. If not, we're going to be working on the floor. Our two exercises are going to be a plank row and a one-legged glute raise. You can do that on the bench or on the ground. If you're doing it on the bench, you have two options here. You're going to get into a plank, a one-arm plank on the, um, on the bench. My arm's coming across this way. My body's nice and straight. I'm pulling that up, control on the way down. My feet are separated. My core is tight. If that feels like it's too much, feel free to come down to your knees. Just keep that body nice and straight. If you're on the ground, same thing. I'm just pulling up, keeping that hand on the ground. Next, we're going to do a one-legged glute raise. If you are on the ground, you're going to do, I'm gonna stop my timer so you have time. You're just going to keep your legs together, lifting one leg up, and that's going to be your glute raise. If you have the option of a bench, we're gonna get on that bench, but we wanna get that so that your feet are more at the 90. We tend to push our booty up really, really close to it and it actually makes it a little bit easier. Less hamstring activation. We want to get those hamstrings, in, hamstrings involved. So we're going to keep our butts back a little bit. As we do this, we're going to lift up with both legs. Get them set, then we're lifting that leg up. Immediately you should feel it in your hamstring. And probably more than you usually do. Okay, grab that weight. We're going to do um, I'd say probably one of your medium-sized weights. We're going to do that one-armed row and a plank. So get ready. Get that arm ready. Grab a hold. It's either on the ground or on the bench. Three, two, one. Nice, nice core. Lift up. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Keep that body nice and straight. Great job. We're going to switch arms. Awesome job. Squeeze the top. Make sure you're looking at the bench. Come on. Rest. Great job. We're going to come down. Switch arms. Get that other arm ready. Three. Go up into that plank. Come on. Nice straight body. Pull up. Squeeze that shoulder blade in the back. Now you've only got 10 seconds after this. We got to be speedy. Getting to that glute bridge. Awesome job. Your core should be working really hard right here. Come on. Rest. Okay. We're at two sets of these. So get down into that. Try to get at that 90. Come on. We're lifting up both Exercise legs. Three. Now switch to the right. We're pulsing up. If it feels too painful, put that um, other leg back down and just do both legs. We're gonna come down after this. Three, we'll two, do the left leg. One, rest. Break. My bench is moving a little. <laughs> Try to get that at that 90. Three, set that down, two, now we're gonna be speedy. Again, we're lifting up both legs, four. get that set, and left leg. Oh, my bench keeps moving. I should've put a weight there. <laughs> Great job. Try to really squeeze that hammy. You should feel it for sure if you're out far Three, enough. Two, one. Right back. We're going right back to that plank. So the left arm is on the bench. Three, Get into that two, plank one. and Exercise start. Five. Control, look straight at the ground or straight at the bench. Try to keep your body nice and straight. If you're on your knees, Still keep that booty down. Squeeze that shoulder blade in the back. Two, one, press. We're gonna come down. We'll get ready to switch sides. Go ahead and get up into that plank so you're ready. And start. Squeeze that shoulder blade in the back. It's a lot of core right here. I know it's a challenge. Fight through it. 
Awesome job. Almost there. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, we're back on the ground quickly. Get those feet kind of at that 90. Push those feet into the ground or into the bench. Lift up and left leg up in the air. Use that right leg. Feel that burn in the back of that hamstring. Good stuff. Awesome job. <laughs> Slowly moving. <laughs> Pull it back a little. <laughs> Get ready. We got that other leg, and then you're done with this Three, set. Two, one. Up. Right leg up now. And pulsing. Great job. Really feel the burn. Burn has changed. That's good stuff. Control up and down. Three, two, one. Woo! Great job, awesome job. Moving on to the next set. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to grab your loop band and go ahead and put it on your feet. Have that ready for the second exercise. I wanna show you what we're doing for legs and then we'll get set up for that first one together. The leg exercise for this one's going to be a straight leg donkey kick. I'm planting my left foot in the ground. I'm gonna pull that right leg up, kick straight back. Kind of like a, a, like a bird dog, looking straight at the ground and that tabletop. I'm gonna keep that band on though. We're gonna do a static bicep curl for our first exercise. I'm going to set that left arm in a 90 degree hold. It's not resting, it's just right beside it. Then I'm doing straight bicep curls. After halfway, or the first set, then we'll go to the other side. Then that's where we're going to hit that that donkey kick. So grab your weight, and we're gonna start with these bicep curls, but have that band on your feet so you're not fighting. Left arm at that 90, right arm's doing the work. Squeeze those glutes, keep that shoulder blade back in its pocket. Don't let that shoulder round forward. And also don't let that elbow move around. Everything is nice and controlled. Control on the way down. Break and let those weights come down. Now we're going to switch. Now the right arm is going to hold it in a static hold. Three, two. Right one. arm and Exercise left arm is two. working. Awesome job. Squeeze those glutes. Now, as soon as she counts us down, we're going down to that mat. Have those bands on your feet. We're going right down to that mat. We're getting in that tabletop right here. Now I want you to plant that left toe into the ground. That's gonna be your stationary toe. My right knee's coming up. Kick back, control the kick back. Try to get a nice kick. Feel that in that booty. Look straight at the mat. We're just going straight back. But that left toe is staying down so that that band's not moving around. It should not be moving around. Come down, let's lean over that leg. And we're gonna come back up. Now my right toe is planted in the ground. Three, we're gonna move that left two, leg. One. And Exercise start, four. kick out. Remember on that kick, try to get a nice pause. Awesome job. Hopefully you have enough tension in this band that you're feeling a burn. Three, if you don't, that's an indicator yes. you probably should, we're going back up that bicep, probably should invest in new bands. The bands get old. Three, you keep, gotta keep getting new ones. One. It's Exercise right one. arms working here. It's very tempting to just stick with the same set of bands, but it's not really working you. So if you're not feeling any tension while you're doing those donkey kicks, order a new set of bands. We've got a, if you go to the website, we've got a, um, a link. If you're not sure which bands to order, we have a link under the um, shopping thing. We have things we love. Three, two. You can go there and find them. Exercise six. But try to get some bands that, that you can feel working. There's no point in having bands you don't feel working. Control on the way down here. We're going right back to that donkey kick. Two. Woo. Rest. 
Now, if you had a bench that was moving around like I did, you were really holding the line. You definitely felt that in your hamstring. That right leg is going to go. So this exercise, immediately you feel it. Because we worked it with that last exercise. Look straight at the mat. Awesome job. Feel that burn. Burn has changed. Good Three, stuff. Two, one, rest. Break. Lean back. Get a nice stretch here. Stretch out that low back. If it's bothering your back, Three, feel free to go to your two, elbows. One. Exercise A. Kick back. Anytime we do anything on in that like tabletop position, if it's bothering your low back, feel free to bend forward. Now I will say, usually going straight back or like a bird dog doesn't bother it as much as the bent leg when you're going Three, up. Two, one. Break. Rest. All right, you're all done with the set. We're moving on to the next set. Okay, on this one, we are going back to the back again. We're gonna do a um, supinated one arm row and we're gonna do a calf hop. We're gonna hit the back of the legs in the calf area. All right, for that supinated row, all that means is that palm is facing forward. We're gonna get in that split stance. I'm hinged at the hips. My arm is facing forward, I'm pulling back. Remember to squeeze that shoulder blade in the pack, keep those shoulders squared up and I'm looking at the ground. If you're feeling really good, we're gonna lift that leg up and we're gonna do that supinated grip with one leg up. We're gonna use that glute a lot by doing that. And then we're just gonna do calf hops. We're doing one leg, the entire 220 seconds. Okay, if you can muster through it through the 10 second break, we're gonna do that. If that feels like it's just too much, feel free to do calf raises with the weight. All right, grab your heavier weight right here. Three. Let's hinge forward, right arm, lift up if you can, and squeeze. I'm squeezing that shoulder blade in the back. Looking straight at the ground. This is working at balance. Keeping that palm facing forward. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Three, two, one, rest. Great job, we're gonna switch sides. If the balance is too much and you can't lift as heavy a weight, drop that back leg. Three. Palm forward, hinge One. forward, Exercise lift up as you can, and squeeze. Awesome job. Squeezing at the top. If you need to keep that arm down, sometimes that helps with balance. Three, two, one. Remember to always control all the way down. Now we're doing these cat pops. Right leg we're starting with. If you need to take a break during that 10 second break, Three. Take it, but if not, we're gonna fight through the entire time. Exercise three. Now, if these calf hops are feeling like way too much, just grab those weights and just do some calf raises with both feet down. Now, this is gonna be a surprising burn. Embrace the burn. Three. She's counting you down. If you're dying, stop. If not, we're staying on this right leg though. When you start back up, if you're taking the break right now, Start with that right leg again. One. Exercise four. You can, we're staying right on this right leg, right here, the whole way through it. If you get the whole way through, even during the break, pat yourself on the back. I know it's burning. Now you're like, what the heck? That's good stuff. Remind yourself, Three. good stuff. Two. One. Woo, awesome job, all right. Grab that weight, we're gonna go back, put that weight in your right arm. That left Three. leg is gonna do the work right here. One. Exercise so we're on that left leg, if you can, lifting up. You remember that palm is facing forward. Squeeze that shoulder blade in the back. Great job. Look straight at the ground. Really controlling and squeezing the shoulder blade in the back. Three, two, one. Awesome, Rest. all right, another side. Now you know where we're going after this, that left leg. Usually you feel like one leg Three, is not as two, strong. Now, one, palm facing forward, six. squeeze that shoulder blade. Now, you are probably feeling like, wow, this right leg is so tired already. You're probably feeling it in your calf. That means we're working those muscles. Three, two, That's a good one, thing, Grace. Right? Over on that left side, you know what we're doing. If you're feeling good, you're gonna work the entire way through. Three, two, 
You're not going to take the break here if you can. You're on that left, left leg. Right here. Awesome job. This is where you like fight through the burn, power through. It is amazing to most people when they do a cat pop, Three, two, how much they feel it. Rest. It's surprising. You should have your uh, family do this one one day. <laughs> See if they can do it. You're doing it for 50 seconds right here. If you do it, see if they can do it for 50 seconds. They'll be surprised how hard a cat pop is. You got it though. We're almost there. When you're done with this, you get a nice long minute break. Keep going, you got it. Fight for it, fight for it. Don't stop, you've got it. You're almost there, so. Two, one. Woo! Awesome job. Moving on next set. Okay, this set, you're gonna need your heavier set and your lighter set. We're gonna do some hammer curls and some sumo deadlifts. Hammer curls, on this one, we're gonna bend those knees slightly, sit up nice and straight, keep those elbows taut. But what we're gonna do is when we're hammering up, as we come down, we're tapping right back up. We're not resting them, tapping right back up. The idea is we wanna keep that tension in those biceps the entire time. Then we're gonna do sumo deadlifts. So what I want you to do is get yourself ready for a sumo squat, what you would feel for a sumo squat. Keep those knees soft. There's a tendency on these I notice for straight knees. Knees soft, we're hinging at the hips, you're running them right down the front of your legs, just like you would, and standing straight back up. We're gonna do this sumo deadlifts. Think straight back, looking at the ground, standing straight back up. Okay, grab your weights. I almost got it. Grab that lighter set of weights for those hammer curls. I'm keeping myself to a minute in between. Three, Get ready. Two, one. Get those knees bent. Exercise one. Up, control down, tap up. Control down, tap up. We want those biceps to stay under tension. When we straighten our biceps out completely, we eliminate that tension in your biceps. And it's a tiny bit of a break. Three. So we're going to keep those camp those biceps under tension. Now, take a quick second and get ourselves ready. We're gonna do that one again. Knees bent, shoulders legs back, start. Awesome. Control on the way down, faster on the way up. There's not a pause at the bottom. It's not a rest and up. Three. Now, if you have heavier weights, we're gonna get those heavier weights. Feet are out. Think about a sumo squat. Get three. those knees soft. Your Two. back is One. flat. Exercise As you lean three. forward, we're hinging down, control, and up. As you're going down, you're keeping those weights close to your legs. You're looking at the ground. And make sure that when you do this, that you're not arching or, or rounding that back. Two. So. If your flexibility only allows you to go to here before you have to start to round, then stop here. Stop wherever you feel yourself Two. starting to round. Two. One. Get those knees Exercise soft. Four. Straight down your legs. Up. Control on the way down. Fast on the way up. We're trying to get at least eight of everything in. Eight to ten is a good number. Three. I'm feeling these. In my calves. <laughs> Surprise! We're back to these hammer curls. Now, if you want to take a little bit more of a challenge with me, we're going to hold these. Exercise five. Do those hammers. A little bit more of a challenge is during that break, we're going to hold them at 90 degrees. Great job. If you need to drop them, drop them. If you can do it with me, we're gonna hold them right here. Hold them right at that 90, palms facing each other. When she counts Three. us down, we're gonna start right again. One. Tap Exercise and six. up. Tap, up. Great job. And we got those sumos. Awesome job. Now you should be feeling the burn in these biceps. Three. If you're not, One. like I said about the band, 
You probably need some heavier weights. Okay, get those feet out, toes pointing outward. Three, Push through those heels. Two, Just think about a sumo one, squat. Knees are soft. Exercise. Hand to the hips, right down and up. I'm not sure how many I'm getting in because I'm talking, but hopefully you're getting at least eight in on all of these reps. Eight to 10, I would love. Three, two, one. Should be feeling this by now in your booty, in your hamstrings, and in your calves. Last one right here. Two, one, exercise eight. Knees are soft, don't lock those knees out. Great job. Wait for it. This is the last one, and then you get a long minute break again. We only have one more set of these Tabatas. Three, two, one, rest. All righty. If you have a bench, we're going to use the bench again. If not, this next set you'll do on the ground. Okay, for this one, we're going to do a bird dog with a row, and we're going to do that butterfly glute raise facing down. Okay, four, if you're on the ground, you're gonna do the same thing as just a regular um, bird dog. I'm going to get on all fours. I'm gonna lift my left leg up. My right leg is gonna do the row, just like that. Now, if you have a bench, we're gonna, sh I'll show you that on the bench. If you are on the ground for this butterfly glute raise, I'm just looking straight at the ground. My feet are together. I'm pushing those feet together and I'm trying to lift up so that I get some, some air underneath these quads and down. I'm always thinking about squeezing that booty. Now, if you're on the bench, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm going to be on the bench. I've got this right arm. It only, it allows you to have a little bit more range of motion if you have a bench. So that right arm is gonna go down below and you're gonna pull that left leg up, squeeze that leg. Same thing, I'm doing the bird dog on the bench. If it feels like it's totally messing up your, um, range of motion and you're feeling like you might fall off the bench, go to the ground. <laughs> then you're going to go to the end of the bench. You're going to grab a hold of the bench or down below. I'm putting those feet together. Same thing. This is just going to give me a greater range of motion. I'm squeezing those feet together. I'm lifting up. I'm trying to get some, some lift in those thighs by squeezing those glutes. The whole time I'm pushing those feet together. Okay. Gather up your weight. So it's probably going to be a little bit of a heavier weight. And let's get into that tabletop position on the bench. Tabletop position, that right arm is going to come down below. Three, now lift that left leg up. One, Squeeze that right arm up. Squeeze at the top. Try to keep that core completely tight. That left leg staying out the whole time. Looking straight at the ground. Almost there. Come down. Every time I do it, I'm hitting that other leg. Okay, get that weight in that left hand. Put that right Three, hand in. Good. Two, left leg's going to be on the bench. Exercise two, left arm's out. Pull that right leg up and squeeze at the top. Now, one side's going to feel better than the other. What you need to know is we're fixing those muscle imbalances. Like I said, if you feel at all like you're going to fall off the bench, go to the ground. Three. Right? Or you're going to put that weight on the ground. We're laying on the bench or on the ground. Put those three, feet together, grab two, on the bench, look straight at the ground, and lift up. Three. Lift up. Squeeze that booty. If you're feeling a ton of tension in that low back, just don't lift up so much, but think about pushing your feet together, squeezing the booty, and controlling on the way down. Just don't lift up quite as much. Three. Break. Now, if you're on the ground, I'm going to do this one on the ground because I know people sometimes have trouble with it. Three, if you're on the ground, two, one, think about trying to get just a little bit of air underneath these quads. Sometimes you can't, but you're just squeezing that booty as you're lifting those feet up. Squeeze those feet together, lift the booty. Even if you can't get any air under here, that's okay. Three, Okay, we're back to that bird dog. I'm gonna give you an extra second to set up here. So, weight in your right hand, left leg's on the bench. Or sorry, right leg's on the bench. Put that right arm out underneath. 
Get that left leg up and get ready. Three, two, one. Exercise five. Squeeze that right shoulder. Control on the way up and the way down. Think about the squeezes at the top of the motion. Don't let it rest at the bottom. Three, two, one, rest. Now your booty should be burning because we have been using it a ton. Get that weight in that left hand. The, the left weight is on the knee is on the bench. Right legs out and pull that left arm up. Left arms pump working. Left legs on the bench. Right leg is out. You're looking straight down. Like I can tell this is my weaker side. I don't have as much control. Okay, so get down, get ready, put those feet together, push those heels together. One, exercise. And lift. If you can, you're gonna to try to keep those legs lifted the entire time. We're gonna feel an intense booty burn right here. Push those feet together, pull those knees out. Three, Lift that, two, those legs. One, rest. Break, come down. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of a brace here. Three, two, Put those feet together exercise. and lift. Awesome. Squeeze those feet together. Pull those knees out. Lift those thighs up as high as you can. Awesome. Almost there. Look at the look Three, at the bench. Two. One. Woo! Rest. Be feeling a serious burn in your booty. Okay, if you're short on time, that's where you leave us. But if not, we're gonna move on. Hit our EMOM right here. Okay, I don't know about you, but my posterior chain is saying, girl, what are you doing? Enough. <laughs> Almost, we have a set of five. We're gonna do a five minute EMOM right here. And uh, hopefully that posterior chain should be awake. We've got two exercises in each imam. We're going to, going to do a pyramid. So we're going to start out with six, eight, 10, 12. And we're going to do another set of 12. That's our bonus right there. All right. This first exercise we did last week, I loved it. If, if you caused you any pain or anything like that, feel free to just do straight deadlifts where you run straight down your legs, straight back, coming straight up. But if you felt good with it, we're gonna go straight down our legs. We're gonna turn it into a dynamic movement by pulling up, going into that upright row. Wanna think about squeezing those shoulder blades in the pack. And as I come up, I'm thinking, using the, the momentum from these hips to get that motion up. Then I'm gonna drop the weight, hold one of my heavier weights. I'm gonna get down into a sumo squat, nice and low. Pull those knees back. That's what's gonna get that posterior chain. And I'm staying right here, and I'm doing bicep curls with this one weight. Now, if you'd rather, you could always grab the other two weights and do it with two if it feels better, all right? So our first one, we're gonna do six of those deadlifts, upright row, immediately into those bicep curls. When you're done with those six and six, you break until the next minute starts. Then we're gonna do eight, all right? So gather up your heavier weights probably, and we're gonna get ready. It's going to get harder as we go. So we want to kind of work our way into it. So get ready. We're going to start with six deadlifts to upright row and then bicep curl. Ready? Three, two, one. Exercise. So down, up. It's on your own count. Now I'm doing Keep those elbows in tight and you're staying low. I'm doing one weight. I think it's a little bit easier than switching, but feel free to switch. When you're done with your six and six, get a nice long break. Next set, we're doing eight and eight. So our break is gonna get shorter, our work period's gonna get longer. Nice little break here. I forgot to start my watch today, so it's almost like today's workout didn't happen. <laughs> you guys can let me know if you burn calories. <laughs> All right, gather up those weights. Here we go. Eight's our number. Let's hit it strong. We're finishing up strong here. Let's get it. One, exercise. 
Keep that core tight. Use that motion from those legs. Remember, pull those knees back. Awesome. You should be feeling it in your booty on that sumo if you have those legs pulled back. We're going to 10 next. So that break's gonna get a little bit shorter. 10 and 10. Here we go, at 10 seconds left. Get those weights, let's get ready. We've got 10 here. Three, two, one, exercise. I'm really feeling this is in my booty. Pull those knees back. I can't really talk. I lose my place. Okay, make sure you're not feeling those deadlifts in your low back. If you are, you gotta, we wanna work on form with you. Try to eliminate the motion of the upright row and just work on your deadlifts. Go down and wait some too. Get ready, we got 12 here. We're working hard these last two minutes. And start. We got 12. Oh man, my biceps already. If you haven't had, if you're still working, stop right here. We've got our last set. I'm gonna give you a couple of extra seconds in case it took you a little longer. Okay, gather up that weight, last set of 12. 12 and 12, let's finish strong, you got it. Exercise. Keep that core strong. Surprise how much I'm feeling this in my biceps. <laughs> Keep those knees pulled back. I think I might have lost count, but I think that's 12. Woo! Finish up here. Your biceps should be burning. <laughs> Great job. Way to finish strong. Exercise. Awesome. Okay. Super proud of you guys. You finished up with a finisher. So grab a drink, grab your strap. We're going to stretch out. Alrighty, I have a 10 minute stretch here. If you need something shorter, feel free to do one on your own. Or if you look at the one from Friday, I had a shorter one Friday. All right, grab that strap and we're gonna take it the whole way around. We wanna stretch out that chest. I know we didn't use chest. It's an opposing muscle from that back. So we do use it, even though you may not realize it sometimes whenever we are controlling motions, like slow on the way down, things like that. We are using your chest muscle, holding yourself up in that plank, chest muscle. So we wanna stretch everything out. Let's lean down, look between those legs. Now, let's put that mat out in front of you. Let's walk out into that plank. 
Put your right leg up and let's get a nice stretch on the inside of that leg. Open up that chest. Come down, drop that back knee, put that right arm right beside that right foot, take that left hand, grab underneath the rib cage and open up. Use this arm to stop this from coming, this knee from moving in. You should feel a stretch on the inside of that hip, also in that chest. Come back down, we're gonna put that foot back, go back and pedal into that down dog. Bring that right leg up and drop that at the knee, stretch out that hip a little bit, switch sides, take that other leg up, drop down, then put that foot down and bring it forward. Let's get a nice stretch on this side, open up that inside hand, put that inside hand right by the foot, drop that back knee down. I'm going to take this right hand, grab right under the rib cage and open up. Now put both hands down, bring those knees back. Let's separate those shoulder blades and push the top of your back up to the ceiling. Really think about separating the shoulder blades. Take that right hand behind your head, do elbow to elbow and open up. We're gonna do that T-spine rotation right here. Do three on each side and switch sides. Try to get a nice range of motion without totally twisting your whole body. Three on each side. Then open those knees up. Walk those hands out, keeping those elbows straight. Keep those hands pulled out. Elbows still tension in your elbows. Get a nice stretch down in your low back, but also if you keep tension in those elbows, you're going to feel it in your lats more. Take that right arm and slide it underneath. Stretch out that back and that shoulder. And switch sides. We are at my house, daylight and a dollar short. Take that right hand over to the left hand and keep those elbows taut. But I had never seen I, Tanya, and I actually kind of like lived through that period. If you're my age, I had no idea. It really was a surprise to me. Pull those hands in, those, um, Fingertips are going to be near your knees, and we're going to go back and stretch out those biceps a little bit. I was completely surprised at her um, childhood. Flip those wrists around and back. Now, we're going to go up onto that right leg, tighten up that glute on that left leg, and lean forward. We're really going to think about your hips here, so I want to loosen up those hips a little bit so release that step forward nice stretch now heel down toe up we want to get that hamstring so a nice straight back remember rounding that back is not going to help sit up nice and straight and lean forward a lot of times you don't need much motion at all to feel it right down the back of that leg now let's pull this leg in Kick that leg back and lay into that and get a nice stretch in that glute. Walk those hands to the center. And to the outside. Bring that leg around. And I'm going to grab that leg with my right arm. Sit up as straight as I can and pull that leg back towards me. Just feel a stretch right in that hip right down that glute. We want to really get that glute. Now this left leg's going to go up, right leg's going to go down. My right leg hip, I'm going to tighten up this glute as tight as I can get it. Lean forward, get the front of that hip flexor released a little bit. Release that, step forward and sink down into that. Get a nice deep breath here and come back. Heel down, toe up, straight leg and lean forward. If you guys have any good movies that you guys are into, We've kind of run the gamut and um, we're looking for new things. If you didn't see that only murders in the building, that was cute. Pull that leg in and step back, lean over that. Just take a nice deep breath and relax. Sink down into that stretch a little bit more, but I'm always open to suggestions. I was not a TV watcher before COVID. Take that hand to the outside. 
there would be days I wouldn't even turn on the TV, but we have gotten into, as a family, since everyone was home, watching TV, and we kind of are becoming hmm, a little addicted to our evening TV watching. Sit up nice and straight. Pull that leg back towards you. Now, we're going to grab that leg. Let's really quickly get that. This is always good for low back, and since we did some things that might irritate low backs, um, you have to make sure that we stretch them out. Pull that right leg back towards you. That um, butterfly glute raise in the back, sometimes people feel that in their low back drop to the outside. It's very good for strengthening low back. Turn, drop to the center. So it is a good exercise for low back. It really is good for strengthening that low back. Same with bird dog, all of those things. But anytime we work muscles, sometimes we feel them. Put that ankle on your knee and pull it back towards you. So we want to make sure we stretch that out. We need a nice strong low back that'll keep our core nice and strong. Drop that foot to the ground, let that knee fall to the side, so the right side, the right leg's going to the right side, and the right arm's going to go out. Walk that hand out and up, and then flip that palm up. Take that leg to the other side, and let that drop down. Stretching out that hip flexor on the other side, it's called the psoas. Okay, right leg up, left leg, or left leg up, right leg out, and pull that leg back towards you. Take it to the outside. Turn that toe to the inside and drop it to the inside. Now, we really work that glute and those hamstrings. If they're tight tomorrow, just remember drink lots of water. Want to get a good um, pull that leg on your on your knee and pull back towards you. You want to get a good um, flush going as far as keeping your body nice and healthy. So anytime you work out, drink lots of water, eat protein. All good stuff. But down, let that knee fall to the side and reach those arms out. Walk that hand up and flip that hand over. Reach those arms and legs out. And we're gonna sit up nice and tall and lean over. Now, real quickly, let's get that hip one more time. So put that right leg on top of the left leg. Push down on that knee. Now pull that foot in, flex that top foot, get a nice straight back and move that booty in towards your foot. That's gonna get a really good stretch in that hip. And switch sides. So push that leg down. Pull that foot in, flex that top foot, pull that toe back towards your shin, sit up nice and straight and move that booty in towards that foot. Keeping your back straight, we don't wanna round. Back straight, chest is proud. Feel a good stretch in the front of that hip. And let's pull those legs in, sit up nice and straight, open those legs up and lean forward. All right, last thing here, let's pull that right arm across. Pull that shoulder down from the inside and lean away. Let's stretch out that shoulder and also those traps. Switch sides. So, shoulder gets pulled down from the inside and lean away. Let's reach back in that Y. Try to really think about the stretch, getting those fingertips back as far as you can. That W, same thing. Try to get those arms back as far as you can. And that W, bring those elbows back, 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 back. All right, awesome job. Thanks so much for working out with me today. Hopefully, you felt a little burn in that booty, in those hamstrings, in the back, and in the biceps. Great job today.